This is what Dan said. He said, when he gets the top of the backswing correctly, everything's sorted, everything's ready to go. All he's got to do is just turn onto the golf ball. He knows he's in the right slot. Now, I know that sounds great to you. And for me, this is why amateur golfers don't compress the golf ball and it's not talked about enough. So Ugly Golf has asked a question here on the channel about how does he get a better backswing in order to create impact to be more predictable. This is exactly how we're going to do it on today's video. And have a look at this hole. We've not seen this one in a while. We are on the 14th hole, Mottram Hall, one of my favourite approach shots. Seven iron in hand, it is a toughie. And I want to talk to you today about the backswing. So I want you to be just like Dan, where you get to the top and you don't have to think about anything else. You're in the slot and you hit. And you might be thinking, Alex, what on earth has the backswing got to do with me compressing the golf ball? Well, this is why. You think about this, right? You open the face through the backswing, you lift the arms and get a little bit open, right? Your chances of getting to that really compressed position with your hands ahead of the golf ball are very, very minimal, very minimal. You think this, right? And watch this from the player cam perspective. If you're coming down with the face open, you're only gonna be able to sort of flick and scoop at this golf ball because your brain's going, Alex, you've got to hit it on the green. You've got to hit it on the green. So there are two stages to today's drill, and I'm gonna tell you what I feel when I'm doing them. But I want you to, if you can, have a go at these at the same time and go, I felt this. Maybe make a mental note of it. Okay, stage one. The first stage is one of my favorite parts of this because I always think in the golf swing, you start it right, you've probably got a good chance of making a good swing. Start it wrong, everything you're gonna to have to do from there forward is gonna be a compensation. So, nice and simple, to set this up, Put your golf club down behind the golf ball and just place another golf ball in behind. I want you just to feel you're going to roll that ball back as far as you can and watch this from the player cam perspective, right? Look how I turn my body and my club face stays nice and square. Look at that position there. I'm really feeling this action. Now, what I feel to achieve that is my left shoulder's working under my chin to get that push back. And this triangle that I've got is moving away. So that is stage one. That's what we've got to feel. Right, I'm gonna hit one away. This is the best thing about this drill. You could just do this down at the range and hit golf balls away doing it. Okay, but we're gonna test it. Let's address it, stand in, push the ball back, hit it away. Push the ball back. <laughs> that is all over that flag. Oh. That is literally two feet away. Okay, part two. So the whole idea of this video is that we're building a backswing that we can trust and get in that slot so we can forget everything else and start compressing the ball. Look at that divot. Think about it, if your face is open having to work this way, everything's gonna be like scoopy at the ground. If it's square, it can work into the turf and strike it as I did then. Stage two, the set. This is the part that you get a little bit lost with, but I'm gonna show you some new camera angles so you can go, that is exactly what Alex did. That is exactly what I can copy. Because that's how you're gonna improve, right? So first stage, you've got nailed. We know that drill. So bring that feeling you had, and that was really to feel that left shoulder down, that bit here. I want you to now learn to set the golf club. Now at this point, I want the butt of the club to point in between your feet line and the golf ball. Really nice and easy. Now look at this from the player cam perspective. My left wrist is nice and flat, okay? and my club face is matching. We're not cupped, we're not closed, we're not club face closed, left wrist flat. We've got it matching. So you've got to imagine this matches this, and that's what I want you to copy. All you've got to do now, and this is what you've got to do, right, is just turn your body more for a longer swing. So you get this right here, I promise you, you get here set right, all you're doing is turning further and swinging down. If everything's square, you can predict where it's gonna go. When you've not got it square, how can you predict? You're fighting it then. This is where you're not gonna fight it. If you think about nothing on the downswing, you get it right in the backswing, you don't have to think about anything in the downswing. Okay, so watch this, right? I'm gonna run you through this again. You're gonna push it away. You're gonna set the golf club. Again, player cam perspective, look at that position. And watch as I turn more, that relationship between my wrists and the club face stays the same, nothing changes. That's what we're looking for, that becomes predictable. 
When it's not, it's not predictable at all. It is that easy for you to be a great golfer. Follow that same idea with your driver and I know you'll start compressing that golf ball and you'll never go back to weak strikes again. Okay, here we go. Can we go two for two here on 14? Let's go. I like to waggle it, just feel that start, maybe even that, then we hit it. That is two for two. Look at the divot again. We are dancing. And if you can hit with your scoring irons on the green, that's going to help you lower your scores. Thanks so much for watching, and do not forget to subscribe.